Today we're going to read a story about two friends. When one of the characters decides he wants to do something all by himself, he learns how much he depends on the support of his friend. Along with this story, you'll hear some fun and exciting music played by the Lima Symphony Orchestra String Quartet. The String Quartet will be playing songs today that use a special technique called pizzicato. Do you know what pizzicato means? Let's ask our concertmaster, Michael Huff, to demonstrate some pizzicato on his violin. After hearing that, do you think you know what pizzicato means? That's right. It means to pluck the string of your instrument. So, during this book, pay attention to the music as well and see if you can hear the strings using pizzicato throughout the book. This is Up and Down by Oliver Jeffers. Once there were two friends who always did everything together. Until the day the penguin decided there was something important he wanted to do by himself. Fly. He did own wings after all, although they didn't seem to work very well. But that didn't stop the penguin from trying. Nothing worked, and it wasn't long before he began to run out of ideas. The boy even offered him a ride in his plane, but it wasn't the same. The penguin wanted to do this by himself. After doing a bit of homework, it seemed like the odds were against him. And together, they decided it was time to ask for help. Before they could ask, something caught the penguin's eye, and he knew this was his chance. Ever dreamed of flying? Are you short and fat? The traveling show is looking for a new living cannonball. In his excitement, he rushed off without a word, and the boy didn't know where he had gone. He looked everywhere and even thought he'd found him for a second. But none of these penguins knew how to play his favorite game. <music> Meanwhile, the penguin had found the right place and was hired on the spot. Finally, he'd get the chance to fly. Suddenly, he realized he didn't know where the boy was, or how to get home. Later that night, when the penguin should have been excited, he couldn't help but miss his friend. Likewise, the boy could barely sleep for worrying about his friend.
The next day, the boy tried to think of all the places the penguin might go when something caught his eye. He didn't have much time. All new Living Cannonball tonight. The penguin's moment had come, but suddenly he wasn't sure about flying anymore. He wished the boy were there. Had his friend even noticed he was missing? But it was too late for thoughts like that. Bam! He took off like a bullet. The boy rushed in, hoping he could still catch his friend. The penguin couldn't believe how high or fast he was going, and he had no idea how he was going to land. He was terrified and missed the boy more than ever. The boy was there to catch him. The friends agreed that there was a reason his wings didn't work very well. Because penguins don't like flying. The two friends made a break for home. to play their favorite game.